Before I even show you guys what the microphone sounds like with the, all the filters added, this is just a raw, raw input of what it sounds like. The other raw input that I'm going to be showing you guys is just the raw input but with the filters added. So it's a little bit raw but not completely. This is a raw input and this is what you can hear with my microphone just turned on, plugged into OBS without adding anything or doing anything in the settings. So you guys can hear that there's a lot of background noise and it doesn't sound very crispy. So now you guys are going to be able to hear the filtered one, the a little bit less raw file. What's going on guys? My name is Krypton again. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how you guys can make your microphone sound a lot better in OBS while you're live streaming or recording just in general a lot better. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it right now because I'm going to be teaching you guys some of my secrets that I've messed around with. But anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is head over to this little wrench tool and go to filters and you're gonna want to add in the compressor first and you guys are gonna want to have these settings these are the settings that i found to work really really well with any type of microphone a headset microphone or you know an actual microphone like mine i have an audio technica atr2500 not the greatest but you know it's a decent microphone and i can make it sound pretty good so it works for me for now so just make sure to copy this uh pause the video if you have to just copy these settings and then you're gonna want to go down to noise suppression and you're gonna want to have it to minus 30 decibels which is you know just standard as it is and for noise gate you're gonna want to keep it standard as it is because these two work very well compressor is most likely the only one that you're gonna be you know modifying to make it sound a little bit better and these settings are uh, derived from audacity but I just kind of mess around with them because these are the normal compressor settings I use for my recordings and I thought I could mess around with it and figure out a good recording tone for you know OBS and this is what I came up with just in case you guys don't know how to add these you just click the little plus sign down here and you just add them down here you're only going to be using compressor noise gate and noise suppression once you guys have done all of that as you guys can see when i'm not talking my microphone is automatically going to go down because of my noise suppression and the moment i start talking again my microphone goes right back up and of course i'm going to be using the raw file for all of this this is basically what you're going to be getting but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what else you guys are having troubles with because obs can be a very confusing software to use and a lot of the times people don't go too into depth about what you're supposed to do hopefully you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys around in a mile peace guys